Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today we're continuing our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play. This time though with a little bit of a twist. Today we're teaming up with our friends over at LG to showcase this. The LG OLED C1 TV. If you've been watching the channel for a little while you might remember when LG sent me this TV out a couple of months ago to unbox. I made a whole video about it and it's been really awesome ever since. Today though we're going to try it out with Forza Horizon Horizon 5. While we do, I'm going to be driving some of my real life cars in Forza Horizon 5, the Shelby GT350 and my new Subaru STI and seeing if I can actually win a race with them. And as we do it, I'm going to tell you about some of my favorite features of the LG OLED C1 TV, like the self-lit pixels, the crazy contrast you can achieve, the crazy, crazy response time, all of the cool gaming features, and much, much more. Anyways, though, if you do want to check out the LG OLED C1 TV for yourself, click the link in my description. Thanks so much to LG for sponsoring this episode. Let's get into it. So welcome to Forza Horizon 5. In today's episode of our Let's Play, I wanted to try out two different sorts of racing events, both on-road and off-road, for two of the cars that I have in real life that are sorta kinda in the game. So if we're gonna do this properly, let's head back to the festival and check out these two cars. So for those of you who don't know, in real life, currently I own a Shelby GT350, and in Forza Horizon 5, they have have this, the Shelby GT350R. Both the GT350 and the GT350R actually have the exact same horsepower, torque, and everything like that. The R, though, is actually a little bit lighter. It has carbon fiber wheels, which make it a little bit lighter, but also really, really expensive. Obviously, we're gonna try this thing out for on-road racing. Anyways, let's start off with this thing, my Shelby GT350. I've gotta find a paint job that matches perfectly for it. And thanks to some of you guys, you guys have actually made my Mustang in Forza Horizon 5. You guys have already nailed the paint job. It's this blue with black stripes with white pinstripes and a black painted roof and black wing mirrors. That looks so sick. The only upgrade that I'm actually going to do to this thing is head over to the custom upgrades and the aero department. My rear wing is a little bit different to this one, so what I'm going to do is swap on this Ford rear wing. That's it's actually the same one I've got in my real car, so perfect. And other than that, everything else is exactly the same, so let's give it a go. I mean, I would definitely say mine sounds a little bit more aggressive in real life, but that is so, so sick. Anyways, where are we gonna race this thing? You know what, actually? I've been having so much fun with the street scene missions. Let's give that a go, yeah. All right, Mustang, let's see what you got and see if we can actually get a victory with my own vehicle. A very wheel spinny star, but away we go, my... Yeah, I, I, I will be honest, it is slower than a Ferrari Enzo, but... You know, I think you could have figured that one out for yourself. Anyways, maybe with some of my brilliant driving maneuvers, I might actually be able to overtake maybe a couple of people in this race. I don't really expect to win it driving a bone stock vehicle, but let's see what we got. Anyways, though, since we're doing this race at night, I can actually tell you about one of my favorite features of the LG OLED C1 TV and that's self-lit pixels. I spoke about it a little bit in my video that I made a couple of months ago, but for those of you who don't know, self-lit pixels basically is the ability for the TV to turn on and off individual pixels. For example, you'll notice the roof and the stripes on my Mustang are actually black. So what the TV is doing is turning those pixels off to give you a super crazy contrast and it looks unbelievable. And I mean, probably the best thing for gaming with the LG OLED C1 TV is that it has a one millisecond response time. Most TVs, especially of this size, this is a 55 inch TV, most of them have a super, super slow response time, which makes gaming super difficult. This TV is instant. So when I turn or when I break, it goes instantly. So. uh Long story short, if I crash, it's on me. We're probably gonna need to think up some new racing driver excuses, but to be honest, this has actually been going pretty well for us, considering we're driving a stock Mustang. Like, I've overtaken some pretty considerably fast cars. Like, I'm closing in on a McLaren Formula Drift cars. Maybe so close 
if this race was a little bit longer, give me like, I don't know, five, maybe 10% more of that race. And that's an easy victory. Very, very nice job, Mustang. That actually drove way better than I thought it would as well. It's only right that we lose to one of the most legendary Fords of all time. We get some nice accolades from that. I think actually that might put us over 300,000 accolades. We also level up nearly level 169. We need some very, very good luck out of this thing. 100,000 credits. I think that'll put us back up to max. We are back up to max money and we are less than 3,000 accolades accolades from 300,000 in total. That is so sick. One of the best ways of getting accolades in this game is actually to do some of the PR stunts. Now, I haven't actually done too many of them, so why don't I try to do one with my Mustang? I've got one over here that I've never done before. This is a speed trap. For three stars, I need 95 miles an hour. I probably won't be able to do that, but I'll aim for two, so Let's see. We are gonna need to absolutely fly in this thing. So into the corners we go. I mean, the one thing I really love about playing with a wheel in this game is it actually kind of forces you to drive more realistically than you otherwise would because sometimes when I'm driving on a controller, I'm like cutting the corner like crazy and really pushing the cars to maybe what's not really possible in real life, but that's actually so much better. That is two stars for us right there. And I think if I'm a little bit more brave, I think I can get three stars. Let's try again. Power, oh, <laughs> one mile an hour. I mean, I'm never really gonna drive my Mustang quite like this, 140 miles an hour. Stop, oh. Yep, I hope I don't drive my Mustang like this. In we go. We're absolutely zooming. Do not shift up to fifth. Go, power it through. Run it wide, back in, dip the tire. Don't slide too much, up the hill, go. We're absolutely flying. We got it, 101 miles an hour. What a beastly vehicle. Three stars, let's go. Oh, we are so close. I think one more PR stunt and we'll be good. We'll be at 300,000 accolades. I found this speed trap all the way over here that I've never done before. Three stars, 125 miles an hour. Okay, let's have quite a run up into this zone. I'm actually so impressed at how well this vehicle actually drives in the game. It's like, it's surprisingly accurate. Like the rear tires are surprisingly sticky. You'd assume them to be super slidey with 500 plus horsepower, but it just, it works. 113 miles an hour. Like I said, I, I, I didn't expect to get three stars there, but is that, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, if we're talking about doing things I'd never do in real life, we could always do this. No problem. Absolutely no problem. I needed like 400 feet or something for three. I pick up two stars. I think that's gonna be good. You know what? I've just decided I don't need 300,000 accolades right now. We can come back to that after I jump in my Subaru. Obviously me being me, I've got the stock blue Subaru STI. So let's purchase that. And then for this thing, we have to do some actual upgrades to it. I'm gonna show you why. So for those of you who don't know, over the past little while, I've actually been doing some little upgrades to my Subaru myself and trying to learn as much as I can about it. One of the things I didn't do myself was actually the exhaust. I have a street exhaust on my car. It still has big old mufflers, but it does change the sound a lot in real life at least. How's it sound in the game? Versus stock? It's not bad. And then the major thing I actually need to customize is my tires and my rims. Right now, my Subaru is actually running its winter tires. So I think the best way to do that is to chuck snow tires onto this thing. I've never actually driven with snow tires in this game before. So we'll see what that's like. And I've also made them a little bit wider in real life. I'm up to 255 instead of 245. So let's toss those on. And then I do have some different rims. There's nothing too crazy about them. I guess I'll just toss those on. Those are 
kind of accurate. And then the last thing I've got, since I've got different wheels, I've gone for some crazy offset. So let's toss on some engine spacers as well. There we go, that is sick. Wait, 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 last but not least, can I actually do anything with my rear wing? No, I could remove it. Can I toss on, yes, I can toss on my mud flaps as well. And I, I do not have rally lights. Wait, 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 and if we are gonna do this properly, let's head over to the paint a car section and over to the brakes, and I need to paint my brakes bright green. I don't actually know why, but in like 2019 or 2020, Subaru changed the brakes on the STIs and now they're all bright green. So yes, we are gonna toss those on, and since we're in here, Let's tint up the windows, looking good. I mean, if we're gonna drive this thing properly, we're definitely gonna need to do some races off-road. And you know what? Maybe let's make things super legit, head all the way up the volcano. We've got this race that goes all the way down the side. And to make it even better, why don't I make it snowy or try to drive in a blizzard or something like that? All right, so unfortunately I couldn't actually set up a race to drive around in like a blizzard or any snow out here in Mexico. So I've done the next best thing, a tropical storm. Now, yes, I am driving off-road on snow tires, which probably isn't a very good idea, but accurate, right? So um, if I lose this race, I'm gonna blame the tire compound. Yeah. For this race, though, we're going up against some really, really cool rally cars. Let's see if I can take some of these guys down. I am going to need to be very, very careful. The gear ratios on this Subaru I'm noticing are a little interesting. Anyways, though, this race does another awesome job of showcasing some of the really cool features that the LG OLED C1 TV has. For example, this TV has both G-Sync and FreeSync. You know sometimes when you're playing some games, you'll notice lines, horizontal lines running across your screen. That's screen tearing, it can really distract you from your game. And what G-Sync and FreeSync do is basically take all of that away so you don't have those distracting lines on your screen anymore. I know it's gonna sound super, super nerdy, but as cool as all of those features are, I actually get really bad headaches playing games for long periods of time. What causes that sometimes is blue light coming off of your screen and messing with your eyes, and it can give you really bad headaches. That's what happens to me. What this TV does is actually reduces the amount of blue light that comes at you so you can play for longer. So like when I'm filming Formula One videos, those take a really, really long time to do and I don't get headaches from filming them anymore, which is, which is really cool. That's not gone that well for that race. So um, I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. I'm not gonna lie though, the dirt race really didn't go that well. Why don't I try a cross country race instead? Maybe that'll be a little bit better. I really don't know what to expect, but let's give it a go. It, it can't possibly end up worse than ninth place. All right, let's go Subaru. Race number two for you. We're still running our snow tire compound, so I don't really know what to expect from here. I think I'm just gonna need to absolutely send it and kind of hope that it goes well. Now what's actually really cool about the snow tire compound is that although it's not that useful right now, like you can see I'm getting absolutely destroyed by pretty much everybody. What's crazy though is coming up next month in December, Forza's actually gonna be doing a world makeover to the entire map and adding in some snow and even an ice rink down at the stadium. I cannot wait for that. And then that's when I think these snow tires are probably gonna make a little bit more sense because at least for right now, I'm getting so much understeer out of these tires. They also have no kind of stopping power really. So not only can I not slow down for the corner, I'm also running super, super wide because those tires just, don't have the grip for me to lean on them. You know, the other thing that I'm actually realizing is watch it when it lands, it kind of like bogs down. Every time I land four wheels on the ground, it goes Doof, and just kind of stops. Like take a look at this jump that we're about to take and then see the landing speed. All of the AI are taking their jump around 80 miles an hour. I'm taking off at 80 and then I land down to 30 miles an hour. Meanwhile, the AI, who took the jump right next to me, can just absolutely fly after taking the jump. 
Okay, there is something very sketchy going on with snow tires in this game, or at least the suspension of this vehicle. I mean, I didn't tune it at all, but I've just decided I don't want to drive this Subaru anymore. So I think instead we should go and do some missions. We've got this mission, V10, all the way at the northern part of the map. Basically, long story short, we're a movie stunt driver. So for three stars, I need to get there with a minute and 50 seconds. Okay. Keep it in the river along here and upright if you can, Frankie. Oh yeah, just give me a uni mug that you don't want me to flip over. Okay, stay above 60. Um, I know you said stay in the river, but um, somebody decided to not put checkpoints on this mission, so I I'm just gonna take the uni mug directly through the sandstorm two miles to our destination. The gear ratios on this thing are awful. I maxed out at 104 miles an hour. This thing's actually got some really nice grip though. I've absolutely nailed it. They wanted me to get there in a minute and 50 seconds. I did it in a minute and 20. Thank you very much. Victor's notoriously difficult to please, but he loves your driving, Frankie. Ready for the next setup. Action! Oh, that first part of the mission didn't count at all. This is what I've got to do for three stars. Oh boy. Okay, let's go, Aston. We've got to absolutely fly. Um. Alright, that was cool. Keep your speed up. Hard turn onto some winding roads up ahead. If you put a corner cut in my way, I will take the corner cut every single day of the week. We are nearly there. One more corner to go. This Aston Martin actually drives really nicely as well. It's got some nice front end grip. The front is sticking beautifully through the corner at 150 miles an hour. Nailed it. Cut. Where on earth did you learn to drive like that, Frankie? Down on YouTube, I guess. Let's go. Three big stars. Absolutely nailed it. I love how we got there nearly a minute faster than the game expected us to. Anyways, Mr. Mike Steele, the rest of your movie is gonna have to wait for now. There you go. That is more Forza Horizon 5 gameplay. Huge thanks goes out to our friends over at LG for sponsoring this episode. Like I said, if you do want to check out the LG OLED C1 TV for yourself that I'm using here and for all of my future videos, be sure to click the link in the description down below and check it out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. If you do want to see more Forza Horizon 5 gameplay, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys soon with some more. See you then. Bye.